Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Ride Share Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the ride share industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens on Real Ride Share Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. For all those who are doing Instacart, there is a new scam that is happening out there and a lot of people it's causing problems with when they are out shopping for customers orders. And what the customer does is a nice little bait and switch. So they will actually put a high tip in the order to entice a shopper to take that order over other orders. And then after the delivery, they will change that tip down to zero. So as you saw in the thumbnail, there was a $55 tip for that shopper. And then right after they delivered it, it got dropped down to zero. So this article right here is what talks about it and where I saw it. So it's CNN Business. Link is in the description below so you can check it out if you want. I'm just gonna pull a quick highlight from it. Um, and yeah, you can see people are luring, luring Instacart shoppers with big tips and then changing them to zero. So in late March, uh, an Instacart worker accepted a grocery order that came with a big tip, $55. Store was down the street, everything the customer wanted was available and it seemed to go off without a hitch. But an hour later, uh, she checked her earnings on the Instacart app and the entire tip was gone with a message saying, customer modified the tip post delivery. So she only ended up making $8.95 on that order. So it went from $55 plus the $8.95, which would have been about 60, what, $3.95 or something, quick math. Uh, and it brought it down to $8.95 for that whole order. Uh, so that is the big problem that people are having out there. And then right here, it says demand for grocery delivery is surging amid the pandemic, and many customers are struggling to get the items they want and even a time slot delivery. Uh, some people are dealing with that by offering big tips, as high as $50 or more to entice Instacart workers or shoppers to pick up their orders but some of these people have turned the tactic to bait and switch offering the big tip and then taking away as soon as the person who risked their health to get them their groceries made the delivery and then going further into the article itself this is also a problem that has been showing to some instacart shoppers as well where it says in addition to having their tips slashed at the last minute some instacart shoppers are also the target of seemingly tone deaf remarks from customers Carolyn, who started working for Instacart about a month ago, asked to be identified by the first name only for fear of retribution, uh, told CNN Business that she also had a recent experience with tip baiting. When dropping off an order recently, she said the customer told her it was unethical that she wasn't able to find toilet paper and updated her tip to zero. She said she tried her best. A lot of people are detached from the situation of what's going on. Uh, and she was based in Florida. They don't really see what they see who is out in the shopping. Uh, we know things are a no-no, like soap, toilet paper, and you barely find eggs if you're lucky. And that's true. For anybody who's been out there, uh, they know that it is very hard to find some of these items, especially toilet paper, uh, because there's still a run on it. Um, now, I go to the store pretty regularly, and I've seen toilet paper wiped out still recently, um, even though the last time I was there, there was a little bit. Um, but this is some of the problems that people are facing on the Instacart app. Now, unfortunately, there is nothing really that can be done in order to prevent something like this because Instacart does allow it. Now, this is one reason why Instacart shoppers have gone on strike, and that started last Monday and is still continuing. And what they're trying to do is get things like hazard pay or uh, the company to take care of them better and also instill a 10% mandatory tip. Now, something like this bait and switch that is happening is very unethical. So the people who are saying uh, this detached uh, reality where they're saying that the to not being able to get toilet paper is unethical. No, you putting in a high tip and trying to entice a shopper to go and get that, that is unethical when you bait and switch them, when you have zero intention of actually paying out that tip. So what can you do as a shopper to try to prevent this? Again, sorry, there is nothing you really can do. But when you see those big tips that are there, just be weary of them and just realize that a tip you see may not be there later. 
Now, the good news is there's a lot of people who are tipping and continuing to tip and then even upping the tip after you've taken the order. So sometimes it might come in as like a five or $10 tip. They may leave cash at the door for you. So you may be able to get more money than what it is. So this is only happening to a few shoppers and this is only happening on a small portion of, of orders and batches, but it still is happening. And unfortunately, if you are caught in this, there is nothing really more that you can do. So just be aware, be vigilant, and stay on top of things. Now, if you are an Instacart shopper and you have seen something like this bait and switch, comment below, let me know what your experience was. Did you uh, have to change some of the stuff in the order? Did they just entice with a big tip and then all of a sudden it got changed to zero? Comment below and let me know. Now that's the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.